Hello guys, this is Sharon here from 24-7 Techie and in this video we are going to compare the Xiaomi Mi3 versus the Lenovo K3 Note. Yes guys, this is the same Mi3 which I bought last year on the Xiaomi's first sale, 23rd of July, almost one year is complete and the phone has been performing very well. My Xiaomi Mi3 is running on CM12.1 nightlies and uh, running pretty fine and this is the Lenovo K3 Note which we unboxed and have made a couple of more videos. I will be leaving all the links in the description, don't worry. And uh, it is also running on Android 5.0 but running on uh, Vive UI 2.0. So this phone used to be on sale for 14,000 and this was the phone that broke all records and uh, start, started a revolution for budget market. And this is the phone that is trying to do that and uh, we hope it can. So there are a lot of similarities in the phone. Both uh, both the phones are Full HD screens. This is 5.5 inch Full HD. This is 5 inch Full HD. This is running on Snapdragon 800. This is running on MediaTek Big Little Architecture Processor uh, 1.7 GHz 64 bit. Both are good performers. We will see the performance with the Enter 2 benchmark. So guys as we can see the performance of both the phones are very similar. One of them is scoring 45,400, one of them is scoring 45,600 something. And both are good performers for for the price and uh, you can even get this phone for 11,000 rupees at the value card and couple of other websites refurbished or unboxed in pretty good condition, 6 months of warranty, pretty good deal. And uh, some of the differences are like... Uh, the the back the keys are not backlit the keys are backlit and uh, it is a 5 inch full hd and this is 5.5 inch full hd but the but there is very less size difference as the borders of both the phones are very big but the mi3 has a little bit much big borders and uh, tends to get a big size uh, factor the games run better on the mi3 as we have seen on the gaming review of the Lenovo K3 Note, some of the games lags a lot. There is a lot of development which has gone through for the Mi3, like this uh, This is what we are custom ROM we, which we are running and it is a great performance and uh, there is not yet a lot of development happened for this phone as this is a new phone, we do expect uh, some development to happen for this and uh, I, must, uh, I must say that uh, the screen quality is better on the K3 Note as it is a new technology and uh, yes this is a great processor uh, Snapdragon 800 but the screen is better on the K3 Note we can see the uh, obvious difference it is a dual sim phone with dual 4G LTE and uh, also having a micro SD card slot which is expandable up to 32 gigs this is this only comes with 16 gigs of internal storage single sim nothing else and the sim, single sim is also 3G so there are limitations on this phone and uh, this phone is right now hot and trending and it is uh, pretty much a good phone if you are planning to buy a phone under 10,000 rupees, you, you can go for this. If you really want an Mi3, I will leave the links to a couple of websites who still sell Mi3 and you can check them out. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. This was Sean here from 24-7 Techie showing you guys a quick uh, comparison between the Mi3 and the K3 Note. In my personal opinion, go for the K3 Note. Yes, the Mi3 has Navdragon 800, but uh, the MediaTek processor works out to be fine yes if you're not a very heavy gamer then go for the k3 note and if you are a heavy gamer on a budget then go for the mi3 thank you very much guys for watching this video i hope to see you in my next video see ya